In the 20th first half, 0-0, uh, many a chance is though. Um, Mitro and Kamara caused all sorts of problems, but the best shot was probably on 29 minutes. Christy, low drive, agonisingly, Mitro just couldn't get his toe to it, so we go in 0-0. The George That's absolutely incredible. It's also worth mentioning you played a few uh, Boxing Day games in your time, including the one from 1963, the 10-1 win over Ipswich. What were your memories of that game? Losing about three days later. 3-1, we lost all that way three days later. Must have felt invincible after a 10-1 win as well. We were a bit surprised, put it that way. We scored that many goals in those days. Now you played along uh, some absolute greats, uh, Johnny Haynes, Tosh Chamberlain, Jimmy Hill, Jim Langley, I could go on, it must have been a very, very special time. Well, playing with a player like uh, Johnny Haynes is, is, a, is fantastic, you know? yeah, because he, he, there's nothing he didn't know about the game, nothing he couldn't do in any certain situation, absolutely magnificent player. Um, unfortunately, he's no longer on with this bit. You know, he was one of those players that probably come along once yeah, And what are your memories of that time as well? What stands out for you specifically? Well, I think we, we were tired and we were never going to win a great deal, but we were always going to give somebody a, a good game. But uh, I think my biggest memory was at uh, 1958. You may remember that uh, as United had lost a lot of their players. Uh, but we played them in the, uh, in the semi-final of the cup at uh, Villa Park in front of 69,000 people. And um, we had great support in there, but we drew and lost at last. But it was, it was one of those games that was full of emotion because of the, because of the loss of their players. And, uh, you know, nobody ever forgets it in Manchester too. Another game that would have been full of emotion, and we've got to mention it as well. Uh, 1966, the World Cup final, you won. What are your memories of that time? Were you aware as well of how uh, important it was at that time? Well, playing at home, obviously, you know, it uh, gives you a bit, a bit of a kick, you know. We, we were not favourites. I think the, the Germans were favourites, but uh, we drew our first game, and people were writing us off. But, uh, Johnny, uh, we. we Got into, got into the competition through uh, Bobby Charm, who scored a magnificent goal and uh, in the second match and that put us on the trial to win. I didn't think we were ever going to lose it, uh, except the fact that we, we might have got kicked off the park against the Argentine, but uh, Alf Ramsey was, was justifiably upset about that. But uh, it's, it's a case of getting your head down, playing your football, and, and try, you know, try to win the game. Don't try to kick people off the park. There's no point in that. And you're uh, obviously a big uh, part of match days here as well. You host your own lounge, and two years ago, uh, we, we casted you out of bronze. You're a statue now by the Riverside. What's your, uh, I mean, how does that feel? Knowing that you're going to be part of the Fulham legacy forever. Well, it's a great honour, of course, you know, and it's a, it's a wonderful statue. Gets cleaned every Wednesday, apparently, because of the sneak of out there, really. But uh, it's, it's wonderful, isn't it? And uh, I didn't know the club were going to do this until my wife told me, accidentally. <laughs> she, she gave it away, gave away the surprise. Well, she did, but uh, it was a surprise to me. And uh, it, as I say, it's a, it's a wonderful tribute to me, and I'm, I'm very proud of it. And to say, after you know, being in the club that long, to see a Sachi club, that may be there another, another 50 years, that's true. George, you're an absolute hero, a legend here at Craven Cottage. Making the presentation of your Forever Fulham Award this afternoon is Fulham FC director David Daly. Uh, so George, you are Forever Fulham. Ladies and gentlemen, please show your appreciation for the one and only George Coyne.
one all probably about a fair result against Wolves. Unlucky at the end to Mitrovic. Had two early chances in the first half, but it's football. We've just got to go again. I mean, they opened us up easily. We should have, we should have dealt with it better, but as I said, I thought it was a fair result with them. It is what it is. I think we needed seven points out of the next three games, including this game. One, so we've got to get three against Huddersfield and three at the Emirates. It's a big ask. Right performance, good performance. We should have fought it. We didn't give them away. We missed a few chances. If we tell you, we would have taken our chances. I would have won this. Right, great performance. They gave us a performance. It's a main thing for me. Disappointing not to get the three points. One all at the cottage. The Wolves come out showing a bit more intent. But then took a substitution of Ryan Sesson Yacht come on a light on the cottage with a close range shot after the ball bounced around in the, in the box. But we couldn't hold on five minutes later. Uh, just we were five minutes from full time. Uh, Wolves just got behind the defence. The ball stepped, stepped low and then another, bu another bundled goal into the back of the net. Uh, Mitrovic nearly stole it at the end. But um, ball was cleared off the line. Very disappointing, but we got a point. And, uh, well, on Saturday. I know it's two points lost, but I think our defence looks so more, so more solid. I think that um, I'm not unhappy with that. Brilliant. I'm not unhappy with that. Um, that we played very well, and I think we should have got three points, but it's okay with one point. Yeah, to be honest with you. Uh, Today was probably one of the most enjoyable so far this season, I think. Still five minutes from the end, and I thought it was another silly goal. But we didn't score, Mitro's ball. I thought it had got in along with everybody else where I sat, but not like I can say really, but it's another point. And yeah. From Malta. Yeah, and you're a big Fulham fan? Yes. <laughs> what do you think of today? Uh, not bad. We lost obviously two points at the end. Quite unlucky there. But I mean, it's a new style of football. Three-five-two. Three at the back. More, more of a three flat five sometimes. Um, uh, more of a five-two-three. But it's quite, quite defensive. Solid at the back. Um, and to play on the counter. So we'll see how it goes. But we, we, with Ranieri, we're a bit more solid at the back. So. Well, uh, <laughs> I was quite disappointed that they conceded at the end, so I think we could have got a win there. But you get, yeah, much better than the losses that they had been getting throughout the season. So. Uh, it, it was alright. I mean, I was hoping for more. Wanted a, wanted a bigger win, a couple more points, get us a little bit further up. <laughs> <laughs> what, what do you think of the game in general? What was your opinion? It was great. Um, the ref sucked. The ref was just, um, there were a lot of not so great calls and a lot of calls not made. And uh, What's the positive points for Fulham, do you think? The positive points for Fulham, Mitro was phenomenal, of course. Um, I think Christy had a really good game. And, um, uh, you know, they were pulling... Young, Cecil Young was brilliant. Cecil, when he... Cecil Young was brilliant, yes. But they, they were pulling together. I felt, I felt like the first half they were a little all over the field and the second, second half they pulled together. Yeah, so what was it? 1-1. One, one. Lost it in the last 10 or 15 minutes. It seemed a bit, bit of an energy drain at the end there. Would have liked to see them fight a bit more in the extra time. It felt like we just carried on shooting at our goal while we like, sort of let them. So I think we just defended too much and ran out of energy at the end. So, uh, but you know, point to point. Uh, that's two, uh, two and two, so um, onwards and upwards, I hope. <laughs> We're off the bottom. Yeah, so come on, you right. Uh, I felt we should have got the three points. Um, I thought Wolves were very boring in their play. Um, and yeah, we we looked the more team to, to win, get the three points. Yeah, is it quite a bit of a sucker punch, that goal at the end from them? Definitely, 100%. Um, when that goal went in, you just, um, your heart sinks. Um, and you're thinking, oh, here we go again. Uh, but Mitrovic towards the end should have got the, the, the winner, I think. He'd, he'd done so well to get the ball, um, but it wasn't to be. Oh, look, there's Martin Glenn. It's the FA. My positives, um, the way we were patient with them, you know, we let Wolves have the, the ball. Um, we didn't dive in. Um, we were patient build-up. We let them play their game, and then as soon as we got the ball, we were... 
looking to score ourselves. So um, yeah, I think we were the, the better, the, the more team to, to win the game. I thought. Are you encouraged by today in terms of going forward, in terms of survival? Yeah, definitely. Um, I've always said when Ranieri came in, I think I've always said he would keep he would keep us up definitely. Um, but the next game, Huddersfield, we uh, we definitely need to win that one. Uh, a bit disappointing, uh, but we'll, we'll take a point. At least we're off the bottom. Uh, we're getting there, going in the right direction, but yeah, very disappointed that we couldn't hold it at the end. We had a bit of oomph behind us. That's great. There's a couple of uh, couple of meaty tackles in there, so that's good to see. Good with that. Yeah, it's good to see Mitro giving his all every time. Uh, well, they, they, they passion. The passion was there. They, they did their best. Stop by good enough. They did their best. Do you think Fulham can survive? Uh, of course. <laughs> You still believe, you have to believe. <laughs> Stand up if you still uh, believe. Stand it up. It's going to be the great escape. I reckon we might do it by a point. Yeah? I think we'll have to see. But that's <laughs> a bit more pessimistic than these guys. <laughs> yeah? And finally, you, do you think Fulham will find three teams worse than us? How hard can that be? <laughs>